Welcome back to Genesis Custom Sabers. I'm going to show you really quickly right now how to use the uh, RICE, which is the real-time internal configuration editor with a Plector Lab sound cards. In this case, I'm using it with a Petit Crouton version 3 and the, uh, the RICE cable available from the CustomSaberShop.com and of course the, uh, the RICE program that you can also download from the CustomSaberShop.com. So I'm going to go through this really quickly, just basically how, an overview of how to use it. Um, I'm going to plug in the uh, USB side to the USB. I want to make sure that I touch the, the edge and then touch my computer so that I ground myself. If it, uh, so it's winter here right now, a lot of static electricity, you want to make sure you do that. Um, then I prep the saber, I've got the rice port uh, available there and I plug in the, uh, the rice cable. Um, what I want to do is I want to open up the, uh, the, uh, the rice program. So I'm going to go to my, uh, my computer here and I'm going to click on the uh, the, uh, the rice application, um, but I've already done that, so I just, instead of double clicking on it, I'm just going to open it up here. And this is what you got. This is your window. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to auto scan, and hit auto scan because that just tells me what COM ports I've got on my computer, and then I'm going to fire up my saber. So I pull out the kill key, I hear the boot up, fire up the saber, and it's the Vader sound font. And uh, I happen to know I can try all of these, um, but I happen to know that. Mine's COM port 5. So I select that, and here's how I test it. You go down to volume, which is in the, the general, um, if you're a Crystal Focus version 6, but in this case it's just the sound volume is right there. And I can hear that my sound volume is affected on my saber in real time. So I'm just going to leave it down on, uh, on 2 so that it doesn't drown me out because it's fairly loud. And uh, so I'm going to just make some, some basic changes. I'm going to go up to this top tab here, LED. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to go down here to uh, read configurations, and it reads the configurations of what my saber is. Current number three is up to 750 milliamps, and current number one and two there's nothing. Um, now my LED is, is set up as BGR, blue, green, red. So I'm going to switch that, then hit read configurations again. You'll notice that it dimmed out my saber because right now it's taking me down to zero. So I'm going to bump this one back up if I want. But if I wanted a purple red and blue, I would just mix them, I would slide them. I don't want to exceed, uh, I can go up to maximum value on that one um, because uh, it's going to be too much for the LED. So I don't want to go more than a thousand milliamps. With the Petit Crouton 3 and with the Crystal Focus, you don't want to exceed the maximum on your LED. So in my case, red is 700, I don't want to exceed that. And uh, blue and green are a thousand, I don't want to exceed that. Um, you can also monkey with it this way by using the, the, the the, this value and just kind of sweep it around and get different values and you'll notice that my saber is changing color as I do this. If I want to go to an orange, if I want to go to a purple, if I want to go to a really you know, white shade of greenish white shade or really deep lime green. It's kind of cool. So I, I can, I can uh, see what the values are there of what I've achieved. And I want to go over to flash on clash. Um, again I can read configurations and I can, uh, I can test what the flash on clash looks like, and I can make, say, a red or a pinky flash on clash that's kind of white, or a deep colored flash on clash. And then when you've dialed in what you like, you, uh, oh, I want to go back, override, sound volume, bump that up, and I want to save configuration on soundboard. And that just saved my color and my flash on clash on my soundboard. Then I unplug it and go play with it. That is basically how easy it is to customize your saber uh, with a real time internal configuration editor. So, thanks again for watching.